definitely, definitely, there is someone that has created everything and everyone. And with all love and respect, and I don't know how I can put it in any other way, but for that faculty in the educational department, where they come and teach nonsense and brainwash youngsters and take them away from God, whether at high school and more so at university levels, they bring all these atheist tutors, professors, scientists, and come and talk absolute childish nonsensical things. But they come and say the Big Bang created everything. I really want to go to one of these universities one of these days and sit at the back. I just want to see these lecturers when they come and talk so childishly and foolishly. They're educated, but at the end of their educational life, they ended up talking as ignorance and absolute ignorance. To claim that a Big Bang created everything and everyone so perfectly and so complex, so complex. I always give you this example. You know, you speak to an intellectual human being and you say to them, the Oxford Dictionary came together in this perfection and complexity because something exploded in the printing press. They will laugh at you. It's a laughable matter. So you cannot, you cannot accept that the Oxford Dictionary came together in this perfection and complexity because something exploded in the printing press, yet your genius brain accepts the fact that something exploded and created the universe and everything in it and outside of it. Where is the logic? You can't accept the fact that a, a dictionary to exist without a brain, yet you accept this complex universe to exist without a brain behind it. Hello? You came from an ape, go to Taronga Zoo, and the next chimpanzee you see, throw him a banana and say, Gray Uncle. Ignorant people, but deliberately, deliberately put together to brainwash youngsters. My son, my daughter, you go to university, you're studying to be something big in society. Let me advise you with love, with love, with love and humility. Let me advise you. You are still young. My son, your beard hasn't gone white like Bishop Murray. I'm already walking Santa. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. My son, your bead hasn't gone white, like Bishop Murray's. My daughter, you are not as old as Bishop Murray. You have not gone through the experiences Bishop Murray has gone through. What do you know about the other life, spiritual life? Just because some person stands and says, I have PhD. In philosophy I have PhD in biology I have PhD in whatever scientific field it is just because they have PhD you think they know everything they are a piece of dust a minute piece of dust poor thing they know nothing when it comes to God they know absolutely nothing So, this complex universe and this complex human being, where did we come from? Our DNA, your DNA and my DNA is made out of 3.1 billion bits of information. 
every single human being's DNA is made out of 3.1 billion bits of information. If I were to translate those 3.1 billion bits of information into words and put it on an A4 size paper with 500 words per page, it would take me 600 thousand pages to write your DNA my dear friend you put all the world's encyclopedias together Britannica and the likes you put them all together they will get nowhere near your DNA with the information placed in it you're telling me an explosion over 13 billion years ago did this let me ask you were you there 13 billion years ago or was it your uncle the chimpanzee which one which one for God's sake which one my son my daughter you go into university and you study to become something or someone big don't ever, don't ever let anyone brainwash you away from God. Don't ever. I don't care with love and respect who that person is. I don't care. If they get a visit from a foul spirit, they will believe there is God. <laughs> you know I'm gonna force Satan to go and pay a visit to these so-called professors I'll force Satan in Jesus mighty name to go and say boo to them and let me see if they're not gonna change their mind instantaneously the next life has got absolutely nothing to do with this life. Totally different. Totally different. Extremely elevated. Extremely intelligent. Spiritual life beyond comprehension. The creator of all that is the one and only. The love of my life, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the truth. The creator of all that, his name is Jesus. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus Christ is God revealed in the flesh.